Seahorses are a type of fish that are found in shallow tropical and temperate waters around the world. Here are some interesting facts about seahorses. Seahorses are named for their horse-like head and curved neck, but they have a fish-like body with fins and a tail. Seahorses are the only fish species in which the male becomes pregnant and gives birth to their young. Seahorses use their long snouts to suck up small crustaceans and other tiny sea creatures. Seahorses have excellent camouflage abilities and can change color to blend in with their surroundings. Seahorses are poor swimmers and often rely on their prehensile tails to anchor themselves to plants or other objects in the water. Seahorses have no teeth or stomach, and must eat frequently to maintain their energy levels. Seahorses have a unique mating ritual in which they perform a dance together and exchange eggs and sperm. Seahorses have a distinctive shape and are often used in traditional Chinese medicine and as decorative items. There are over 40 species of seahorses, and many of them are threatened by habitat loss, pollution, and overfishing. Seahorses are fascinating and unusual creatures, and their conservation is important to maintain the health and diversity of our oceans. Appearance Seahorses have a unique and distinctive appearance. They have a long snout and a horse-like head, with a small mouth at the end of their snout. Their bodies are covered in bony plates instead of scales, and they have a prehensile tail that they use to hold on to objects in the water. Seahorses come in a variety of colors and patterns, including yellow, orange, red, brown, and black. Diet Seahorses are carnivores and primarily eat small crustaceans such as shrimp, krill, and copepods. They have a specialized mouth that allows them to suck up their food like a vacuum. Seahorses must eat frequently due to their high metabolism, and may consume up to 3,000 prime shrimp per day. Behavior Seahorses are known for their unique and fascinating behavior. They are monogamous and made for life, performing elaborate courtship dances before mating. After mating, the male seahorse carries the eggs in a specialized pouch on his abdomen until they hatch. Seahorses are also known for their excellent camouflage abilities, changing colors and patterns to blend in with their surroundings. They are poor swimmers and rely on their prehensile tail to hold on to objects in the water. Seahorses are generally peaceful animals and are not aggressive towards humans or other fish. The life cycle of seahorses is quite unique compared to other fish species. Here's an overview of the seahorse life cycle, courtship. Seahorses mate for life and perform an elaborate courtship dance before mating. The male and female seahorses will swim together, change colors, and engage in other behaviors to signal their readiness to mate. Fertilization During mating, the female seahorse transfers eggs to the male's specialized pouch on his abdomen, where they are fertilized by the male's sperm. Gestation The male seahorse carries the eggs in his pouch for a period of around 2-4 weeks, depending on the species. During this time, the male will provide oxygen and nutrients to the developing embryos. Birth Once the eggs have fully developed, the male seahorse gives birth to live young. Depending on the species, a male seahorse can give birth to anywhere from a few to several hundred offspring at a time. Juvenile stage After birth, the juvenile seahorses are fully formed and can swim on their own. They will often cling to plants or other objects in the water, using their prehensile tails to hold on. Adult stage Once the juvenile seahorses reach maturity, they will seek out a mate and begin the courtship and mating process. Seahorses can live up to around 5 years in the wild. Overall, the seahorse life cycle is unique due to the male's role in carrying and giving birth to the young. This unique, reproductive strategy has helped seahorses to adapt and survive in their marine environments. However, many species are threatened by habitat loss, pollution, and overfishing, and conservation efforts are necessary to protect these fascinating animals.